Jules, what are you doing here? What I mean is, you know, who, who's going to fit Mr. Yang with her straitjacket and iron mask with face grill? Something tells me there's an entire precinct of officers bidding on that job right now. Uh, can I interest you in a, uh, a Necco wafer? Sean, can you just not talk for a few seconds? Look, I just wanted to tell you that what you did today, I mean, I can't imagine being able to function at that level while your mom was, you know, I am, uh, clearly not as good with words as you are, and, um, I know that things between us have been a little complicated, and that there have probably been some mixed signals, mostly from me, with regards to the time that we spend together outside of the line of duty. Look, Jules, I... Sh just, please just let me finish stumbling through this. I'm almost done, I promise. <sighs> what I'm saying is that I think maybe the best things, the richest things, aren't supposed to come easily. And that sometimes the moments that make the most sense happen when everything else doesn't. And, well, I think you deserve more than popcorn tonight. So why don't you let me take you to dinner? Detective O'Hara, are you asking me out on a date? I am. A proper one. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe this. <laughs> All this time, and <laughs> your timing is just awful. It is? Yeah, it's just dreadful. What? I can't go to dinner with you, Jules. I'm already on a date. You are? What, here? Yeah, rough right now. It's weird. It's weird. It's a little weird. But, uh, yeah. With Abigail. The one that got away. Yeah. Jules, I'm so sorry. <laughs>